Before changing the attachment, find a flat and even surface. It's always easier to change the attachment if the excavator is in a horizontal position. Place the attachment on the ground or curl in the bucket before carrying out any operations, depending on which quick fit is used. Volvo offers various quick couplers to provide the best possible service and attachment to every application. Regardless of the option used, please make sure you never operate the quick fit circuit if you're not 100% certain about safety. If using one of the Volvo Quick Fit S-Types, work is performed with a very light quick fit and the loss of lifting capacity, as well as breakout force, is very small, even if compared to a direct mount bucket. For increased safety, the new quick couplers are equipped with two indication pins, a red one to indicate the open position, and a green pin to show that the quick coupler is fully engaged. After the machine is positioned correctly, open the quick coupler by pushing the quick fit switch on the right hand console. A warning screen will appear on the monitor. To approve the operation, the machine operator must push the confirmation switch on the left control console. This design will provide the best possible safety and will avoid an unintended opening. Now, it's possible to see the red indicator pin moving out and the buzzer in the machine cab will sound as a warning signal, in addition to the notification on the monitor. The green indication pin will disappear as long as the quick coupler is open. By operating the bucket function in the opening direction, it is possible to unattach the bucket. The entire operation should be done at a lower RPM in order to accomplish a smooth movement. When connecting a new bucket, engage the two hooks of the quick coupler plate first. As a second step, curl the bucket in to connect the complete quick fit plate. After everything is in position, push the quick coupler safety switch on the right console back in order to close the quick coupler. A locking wedge on the back will engage the attachment. Check the indicator pins. The red one will move back into the quick coupler plate and the green pin will extend and should be completely visible. Before confirming that the attachment change is done, you need to walk around the attachment and assure that both pins are in the correct position and the locking wedge of the quick coupler is around the rear locking pin on the back of the attachment. To finally confirm the attachment change, push the confirmation button on the left console again so the buzzer will stop and the default operation screen on the monitor will return. To make absolutely sure that the locking procedure was done correctly, perform a backhand joystick test on the ground to guarantee that the attachment is secure. During the attachment change, the digging equipment can be used to turn and align the bucket. But you can, of course, also reposition the excavator. The decision is up to you and your convenience. Operate the digging equipment smoothly and slowly to avoid any scratches or damage to the components. If the red warning lamp for an open attachment bracket lights up while working, the attachment could fall off and cause serious injury. Stop working with the machine immediately and make sure the attachment bracket is properly locked before beginning work again. Should the quick coupler not open after pressing the switch in the cab, the wedge might have become stuck. Try the following procedure. Curl the bucket in until the end position is reached. Continue to curl the bucket in order to acquire maximum pressure in the locking cylinder. Now, try to open the bucket once again and you'll see that the attachment is free to place on the ground. If you're still unable to open the quick fit with this end position operation, you should contact your dealer for the necessary support.
If you're working with the quick fit, it's sometimes necessary to adjust the play between the quick fit and the attachment with the help of shims. We recommend carrying out this maintenance when needed in order to increase the lifespan of the quick fit. Start by measuring the distance between the bolt head and the support on the quick fit body. To get exactly the right dimension, different thicknesses can be ordered. Assemble the nut to secure the bolt and the shims. Repeat the operation on the other side. Do all three at the same time. After shimming the attachment, it's important to check that the locking wedge sinks deep enough down into the hook. If the wedge doesn't extend deeply enough, the shims must be removed so that they're in accordance with recommendations in the operator's manual. It's strongly recommended that you do a visual inspection after having made the necessary adjustments. Place the machine on a flat surface. Press the safety quick fit switch in the cab to release the attachment. Use the open bucket maneuver to disconnect the attachment. Make a backhand test to ensure that the attachment is secure. Adjust play between the quick fit and the attachment by using shims if necessary. When the quick fit's warning lights appear on the monitor during normal work operation, Stop working with the machine immediately and make sure the attachment bracket is properly locked before starting to work again.